Before removing the existing door set, carefully inspect your new door set for any damage and to ensure the contents are correct. Also, check the sizes are correct for the opening. Important! Claims for damage cannot be reported after the door set has been fitted. It is recommended that the door and frame are fitted as a complete unit. Using two people will make for an easier installation. After the old door has been removed, ensure the door aperture is clean with all excess cement and silicone removed. Measure and re-measure before cutting frame extension pieces if required. After cutting the frame extension pieces to the correct length, fit them to the door frame using fixing supplied. If fitting with a sill, ensure it has been fitted as per manufacturer's instructions and is level. Note, sill should be on a bed of silicone. Remember to measure and re-measure before cutting frame extension pieces. To fit the Euro cylinder barrel, place this into the lock aperture using the key to align it correctly and fix using the long machine screw provided on the lock side of the door. To fit the door handle, insert the spindle through the lock mechanism. The handle with the fixing screws should be placed on the inside of the door with the lever pushed squarely onto the spindle. Repeat for the external lever. Insert the two countersunk screws into the holes on the internal handle and tighten. Using a spirit level, check the basis level and place packers to support the door set. Offer the door set to the opening, temporarily wedge into place. Using a spirit level, check the frame is plumb and square. Use packers between the base and the stonework. Use a spirit level to ensure the frame is level. Use packers between the frame and the brickwork close to the fixing points to ensure the frame remains plumb and straight during fixing. The door set should be fixed through the frame legs. Four each side should be sufficient. No screws should be fitted through the frame head or down into the floor. These fixing points are for guidelines only. Drill the frame legs with a 7mm HSS drill with a 6mm masonry bit. Drill into the substrate of the hinge side, ensuring the hole is deep enough for the fixing. Use a Torx T30 driver bit to fix the masonry fixing screw supply into place. Be careful not to bow or twist the PVC U-frame. The use of installation packers behind the frame and close to the fixing points will help with this step. Once fixed, offer the door leaf to the frame ensuring the leaf and frame are parallel. Mark the door frame positions and insert the remaining fixings. The hinges should be adjusted to ensure an even air gap between the frame and door slab. Measure and fit any trims, not supplied, ensuring the area is clean and dust-free to maintain a good bond. Then seal around the inside of the frame. Clean the door as referenced in the care and maintenance guide. If required, adjust the center and hook keeps, achieving optimum compression. Remove all protective tape from the door frame.